let's go all the way to you know uganda and talk about this particular lady so married this man got children with a man very destitute they have no uh, money you know struggling to put money on the uh, not money but uh, food on the table so this uh, gentleman decides he's gonna leave this is in 2011 he leaves and um nobody knows where he's at the wife doesn't know where the husband is at the children don't see their dad so then uh, this particular lady decides so since i've not seen this man today He's not been around for months, for weeks, for years. I need to step up as the father of this house. So um, she decides she's going to do farming. She got, um, you know, this uh, help from the government, Ugandan government, some 35,000 Kenya shillings. She planted maize. And because she's, uh, you know, very vibrant at doing that, I can harvest, I can put a profit of up to 81,000 Kenya shillings. Now, now, it's not the interest, uh, interesting bit. Tell me why this gentleman comes back as soon as he yes, the wife is now making money. And then when he's asked, he says, you know, I didn't have money at the time. I was very poor and broke. I did not know how I was going to help and feed my family, take them to school. And uh, now that I've heard that they have this money, I am back as the father. You see those people who tell you things like, you know, that is your father at the end of the day. You need to forgive. Is this a situation you can forgive? If this woman stepped up, if she wanted to leave, she would have left and the children would have, uh, you know, found a different family, but she did not. She stuck there regardless of the situation that she was in. This is truly a buddy. Now tell me, you're in that situation. You're the lady. This man shows up 10, 12 years later and tells you, you know, I love you. You're my wife. This are our children. What are you going to do like the bad girl that you are? Because this is just madness.